to my channel i do hope you're doing well well it's the end of the month and you know what that means it is another little episode of our monthly series monthly favorites of course we have a selection of my favorite bits and bobs through the months and like i said last time it's just going to be me and my pjs every month because i just want it to be a chill chatty vlog so today's pajamas are beauty and the bees we are complimentary even with the little beauty and the beast rose socks so we are well and truly kitted out because it's february it's been the month of love so why not with a bit of beauty and the beast so i've got my little list ready to make sure i don't waffle over any bits that i did last month and you may see there's quite a few snacks in here but we're just gonna go with it and yeah get comfy get cozy and as i say let's see what i've been loving this month and yeah let's just crack on with it because there may be a few things you can spot in here that are quite irregular in the halls and quite a few new bits as well so let's just get on with it shan <laughs> right so just like last month we're going to kick it off with food because food and drink is the best thing in life and that's all i've had to look forward to to be perfectly honest with the new bits and bobs of food that i will be having in my life but we've got a few new drinks my lovelies may or may not have treated myself to a new alcoholic beverage let's just say so let's go on with snacks because you know your girl loves a snack we've got a few sweeties and of course a savory so if you have been around on the channel for a while you know that when I get a share bag, aka a Shannon bag, it's not going with anyone else. I have found stock of my favourite beauties. I love these as well as the sizzling steak ones. Yes, I have probably gone through about four packs this month. That's quite terrible. I think I've only gone through about two of these. Look, so excited. They're too hot to handle. I'm dropping them everywhere. But yes, you know me, I love a good share bag. And it's perfect for those weekends when I do want to be unproductive. I don't want to do anything. And I will literally just sit there, surrounded by my share bags, loving life, watching Netflix. And then once I've done with my savoury bits, sweeties. And of course, because it's the month of love, I have overindulged quite severely on love hearts. I mean is this just a throwback for anyone else or is it just me um i'm not really a palmer violets kind of girl mm -mm. no that's just like perfume in my mouth but love hearts oh my god i sit there and i just crunch 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 and then before i know it like i've got a quarter of a pack over there that i've not yet finished and i'm down to my last two i probably bought about three or four packs so that's 12 or 16 little ones you know and yeah i'm down to my last two so that's great like we're all about trying to get in shape now that we actually have a little bit of an update from boris whether that happens fingers crossed who knows but if it does i need to start getting my butt into gear because i ain't gonna be getting a beach body stuffing my face of share bags and love hearts am i now but on a more happier note like getting me in the vibes for holiday that all inclusive all you can eat but more importantly all you can drink pina coladas at the uh, pool bar 9am i am a guilty party i picked this up in tesco last week and there's not much left this was 26 pound i believe it's whitley nil or whitely nil i never know how you pronounce it but it is a limited edition watermelon and kiwi gin now If you know me, you know I love a pims. I love anything fruity, tropical. When I saw this, I was like, oh, you guys straight in my basket. And it's got like a proper, it's proper bougie. It's got like a cork top. And then when you pull it out, oh, that's just delightful. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I already have a glass. I mix mine with, do you remember in B&M you get, is it skinny tonic? They're the little cans, blue, yellow or pink. I put quite a few uh, little swigs of this in with a couple of tins of the blue tonic, the Mediterranean one. You probably could have it with the yellow skinny. Anything plain. I wouldn't put it with like a really flavourful tonic. I'd have it with just a plain one. And then what I do, I've got some summer fruits in the freezer. 
just put a few of those in put some ice put some pomegranate seeds and yeah so i'm gonna be picking up another few of these because that is gonna be perfect for my summer drink when we get around to summer and knowing my like tesco probably won't stock it for the summer so hey ho but yes if you love like watermelon kiwi you love gin put it together and bob's your uncle on the side adverse effect because it is still quite nippy in the mornings um the other day i had frost on my car lovely blue skies but my car was frosty as hell they still think we're going to get a bit of the white stuff for easter do you think we'll get a bit of snow who knows but some mornings it is still a bit nippy like it's a lot warmer than what it was i think it's normally about 17 or 18 when i wake up in the mornings it's a lot better to the 12 and the 13s prior but for those mornings more or less a sunday morning when i have me omelette i'd need to show you the omelette maker again but currently it is in the wash well you can't wash it but it's due to be washed because i've just been living off omelettes that is the best thing i have bought this year and i will keep raving about it until the end of time if you haven't seen it check out the b&m haul or check out the self love vlog oh my god best thing 12 pound get down to b&m or just google it i'm sure you can pick up any other types it don't have to be a weight watchers one but an omelette maker will change your life i'm getting so passionate about this i need to calm down <laughs> but on those mornings when it is a bit cold and i want a warm drink right i'm gonna look like a right alcoholic because here's me talking about gin and then here i am first drink on the morning of a sunday is a bailey's hot chocolate this has been an absolute staple for me and oh oh i've got itchy eye does that mean surprise no i just got itchy eye this is i am so weird why does anyone watch your show rabbiting on digressing as always <laughs> but yes bailey's hot chocolate oh my god this with whipped cream the marshmallows i even this is quite bad the other week it was mother nature i even put on some chocolate syrup just squeeze that baby over it and it was divine very sickly though i might add like having that with a smoked salmon on it was probably not my best thinking but hey ho i enjoyed it nonetheless so yes i need to stock up on these because even though we're coming into the warmer months tassimo i find that hot drink capsules sell out all the time i'm constantly on there like notify me when this is in notify me when that's in but yes so i need to do a little bit of a stock up might see if dada needs any pods because i've got him a coffee maker and he's become addicted the only thing though I don't think he knows how to use it properly or he doesn't know how to work out the boxes bless him because he keeps telling me he's getting no milk i don't think he realizes that in a box you have the two boxes and i think he's just opening one hence being the coffee and thinking that they're both coffee instead of one being coffee one being milk and no matter how many times i try and tell him he just he won't have it so that is him we're just going to let him go on and yes that is my food and drink that i've been loving this month like me gin and tonic in one hand a love heart in the other and then when it's cold and i want me nice warm hot chocolate and then a pack of flaming hot watsits your girl's never gonna shift her weight for the other day is she let's be perfectly honest <laughs> so the next topic i was trying to i've got my little list down here you know like i say i like to be organized it's kind of like miscellaneous but basically it's electricals so i have three electrical favorites this month of which i've used non-stop and my god they've been charged for dear life let's start with the first one so you know what i said like if you see me with a phone case and it's the same as last month shout at me down below well i don't think we're going to have that problem because the old phone she's still here where is she oh no she's gone right i have still got the old phone somewhere has mum took it we'll never know so the old phone is still here she's still got her case on i have had that phone four or five years it's an old iphone 6 32 gigs so the memory was poor the camera was all right but it just kept crashing and it kept lagging and i found with social media and instagram it was just freezing all the time one night i went on and then you know when you just get the white screen come up and i was like that's it phone's broke can't do anything 
After about 10 minutes, it decided to turn on again. And I thought, no, you know what? I need to get a new phone. I'm very fussy with phones. I don't need a state of the art £1,000 phone in my pocket. Like, no. Number one, I'm quite clumsy. As you may or may not know, I know if B's watching this, which he probably won't be, but if he is, he will be like, you are clumsy, central. So I didn't want a big expensive one. Cameras don't really bother me on phones because I don't really use it that much. If I take a photo, it'll be an odd selfie, or if we're away on holiday, just little odds and bobs. But the majority I use the camera that I'm filming on right now. So I just wanted one that was still small. I don't... What is it with these new phones? Some of them, they're literally like the size of my iPad. They're huge. Didn't want that. I just wanted something that was small, compact, had a bit more memory because, like, as I say, with social media, I didn't want it to keep crashing. And also, if possible, roughly the same size as an iPhone 6. So I found the iPhone 8, found it, and then when I read the dimensions, there was quite a lot that said that the iPhone 6 cases... 95% would fit an iPhone 8, but they couldn't guarantee it. And I was just like, right, do I take the plunge? Da, da, da. Well, I went rooting on the old internet and found that there was a new model come out called the iPhone SE 2021 or 2020. Might have been last year's model. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it was practically like for like of the iPhone 6. I think the camera they said was one millimeter bigger um, and then it was, I think, two millimeters deeper. The only thing, I loved my white front on my phone, but all the new phones at the moment seem to be a black front. So I was contemplating, do I get the iPhone 8, which is a bit more expensive, but with a white front, or do I get a black front and I could get a lot more memory for the price of an iPhone 8 and still be a lot cheaper. So I am denied by it that night and I decided I was gonna go for the iPhone SE. Oh, and would you look at that? Brandon is FaceTiming as we speak. So you would have seen it in action then. So I ended up going for the iPhone SE. And you know what? I'm so glad I did. I managed to pick it up in the 256 gigs. So the biggest you could get. My God, I didn't realise how quiet my phone was. When this goes this goes and I don't know why when you move it the screen just activates I don't know if it's like a I don't know it's like this is all new for me I didn't realize how bad not bad but the camera on the old phone was compared to this so I've started to now actually take when I take photos of me dindins normally it would be on the camera but I've actually been able to start using the camera on this because it's not that much different quality to that obviously this is a big camera, this is a lot better. But you know, like for like. So I've got my new case on there that I got for Christmas. The gin made me do it. And as you can see, it's a white back, but it is a black front. And as you can see, I'm still learning. What way is the button? There we go. It's like just a nice little screen. It's not gonna show, but I've got me, whatever happens, happens, don't stress. So I haven't changed the front of my screen because I think I had that last month on my old phone but yeah I just like a nice positive quote now to show on there sometimes I will change it to like photos of us but hey ho I do apologize I have a baby hair here and it will not go down for love nor money so I do apologize for that when I was on FaceTime to be he was like your baby hair's up I was like don't remind me I can't help it but yes yeah, so the first electrical purchase which was a purchase this month was my phone and i'm very very happy indeed with it right a few that are not been so recent but i have absolutely loved this year i picked this up about a year ago i think and it is the bose sound link I don't know the rest of it. I'll link it down below. As I say, I'll try and link any other bits and bobs that I can down below. But this little thing, oh my God. So it's not that big. It's a nice dinky one. But my God, does this pack a punch. I can't play any music on it because of copyright. But let me just tell you, this is good. It's actually really good at charge as well. So... I can charge this and then I'll probably get about 
four to six hours constant use out of it which i think is quite good for a little portable one i wanted one that was portable that you know when everything goes back to normal if we go down the beach or the park i can just take it and love life so yes sand speaker must go to for this month because as you know music is my saviour most times it takes me out of a lot of dark places and it just makes me happy and if i can make the music as loud as possible why would i not want to do that on the other hand these i have had i'm gonna say about two years now these are mainly i use for editing to be perfectly honest now because i take my laptop to work i do a lot of editing in my breaks and it's always like you hear the fuzziness and everything in the background and I, especially when you're trying to add music overlays it can get a bit fuddy duddy so i got these as i say about two years ago they're in the little beats box i don't know you may have seen these on vlogs here and there but they are the disney limited edition i think it was 100 years or 25 years this is how ocd i am i still have like the little um sticky label protection thing because i don't wear these outside unless i'm at work but yes they are the mickey mouse beats classic little limited edition headphones and honestly they're wireless so that's fabulous pop them out. i'm not gonna pop them oh actually no i can you see and that proper soundproof like even just putting them on it takes out all that fuzziness and they fold in like that i don't know if you can still pick these up i will have a look i got mine from hmv and if not i'll have a look or i'll link like the normal wireless ones in because they do loads of different colors i have always loved beads i remember when i was about 16 or 18 i'm gonna say when they first come out do you remember the big ones with the wire i fell in love back then and i got the pink ones oh my god i haven't got them anymore i don't think i think i give them to mum to put in with my old ipod when she wants a bit of music when she's doing her cleaning but they were huge big uh like headband big thing big wire but they was great and i loved them and when they started to get like a little bit battered and i thought you know what i need to kind of slowly move away from the wires try and get a little bit more technical you know and go with the wireless disney ones and as i say yes they come in perfectly handy for editing sometimes i do pop them in like if i just want to listen to music in me ears obviously but just music myself you know but majority of the time if i'm indoors this will be banging out and then at work i'll be having my headphones on in the car doing my little thing so yes that is like my little miscellaneous but more electrical base this year so i've upgraded my phone thank god next month you're probably going to see another new case i mean i say that every month i am going to be starting to use new cases but you're probably going to see a lot more because I went on amazon last night and there is a lot that i can fit even though the whole point of me getting this phone was to use the cases that I've already got. Why not? This phone I'm probably going to have for, what, 10 years? Probably forever now in my life because I'm not one of these about all the new ModCon phones. But yes, I am rammed in. I'm going to have a sip of me gin and let's get on with the next section. <laughs> all right, that was most refreshing, having me a little sip of gin in this little break. But my next category is one of my favourites. It's all about our accessories and... You knew you was going to see this. So last month I said I picked up two bags from Abbott Leon that I'd had my eye on for absolute ages and they went in a sale. So as soon as they went in a sale, your girl obviously had to buy them. I couldn't make my mind up between the black with the silver or the white with the gold. So because of the fab offer that they was on, I bought both and treated myself. Who says you can't treat yourself, eh? So you would have seen the black one with the silver last month. And this month, rest assured, it is the white with the gold. So I got the one with S on. Obviously, that's my initial. <laughs> and then it's just this gorgeous white croc embossed fabric. And then I love the snake print. That is what drew it to me. I'm a sucker for a bit of snake print. May not be to everyone's taste, but I absolutely love it. And I just love the handles. It gives me very 1920s vibes. Or you can have it if you want as a crossbody because you've got a nice little chain on there this one as i say it's getting slightly warmer now so i have still been using the black one 
that's been like my go-to because silver i have a lot more silver jewelry but i'm trying to bring in a little bit more gold to the older wardrobe so yes i picked that up, up as i say and i will be trying to link as much as i can down below i think they still have an offer on when this goes up not entirely sure but i'll leave all the details below for you but you know like those types of bags are just such a classic you can have it if you didn't want to hold it by the handle you can flip the handles down and have it as a clutch you can hold it as a natural little handbag by the handles or you can have it as crossbody i love them multi-purpose bags are my best friend and then what have we got so this is i have to keep referring to my list because you know what i'm like i do ramble and waffle on right perfume perfume just almost chucked it i have not been wearing anything else this month i done you know on my lifestyle instagram every month i change my little um set up on my dressing table and i'll bring out some new perfumes and some new bits and bobs and i bought this out thinking you know what it's february pink red valentine's all that jazz and i have fallen back in love with this this is the moschino fresh pink one i love this because it looks like a cleaning bottle the very first one they bought out was blue with a red handle i've got the other one and i think blue may be coming out for next month but it is just like the freshest scent it's gonna sound so weird the freshest scent ever i love it i remember when i first got my blue one i pressed the thing so hard i broke it that was fabulous so i used that bottle very very quickly and then repurchased it with a new bottle because yeah that's just my luck and i couldn't have it with a broken little ornament on the top so yes i absolutely love this i think they do this in gold i'm sure i've seen a gold one i haven't added that yet to my collection but yeah i just i mean I look i just think that's so cute and it's a decent size i've got the 100 mil you know me with perfumes i tend to go like 90 or 100 or the biggest one that they get because i find for the money that you pay for the 30 mils and the 50 mils half the time you might pay an extra 10 or 20 quid to get double the quantity so yes that has been my scent for the chosen month the only other one i've kind of detoured to but it's not really a perfume and you saw it last month i'm just using up my body shop pink grapefruit mist you know like the eau de toilettes been using those up but if i am not smelling of that all over you may if you know me notice that i may have smelled a bit minty this month on my face that is because you would have seen last month the scent of the month was strawberry but i am forever carrying face mists around and the body shop nothing beats the body shop in my eyes they do the best but this month i've been having the mint mattifying face mist so all i literally do should we have a little bit of a spritz now i know i've got a bit of makeup on but hey ho these are perfect for the days when you don't have makeup and i just like do my little skincare my moisturizer and then i pop this in just to suck it all in let's have a look Mm. i just smell like a candy cane or an after rate and i love it so oh i'm that blind as about i couldn't see where the nozzle went that just sums up my life perfectly but yes these are great you know me well if you've watched me vlogs i don't really wear makeup in vlogs but if you know me in general i don't really wear makeup i wear makeup mainly to film so that i look half presentable or if there's a big occasion going out apart from that i really embrace the au natural look because i just think until we can go out i'm not going to be wasting my makeup and one of that i don't want to waste my time or my effort just to pop down to tesco's you know so yes this is normally my go-to i do have a few more other scents i'm thinking next month what one will i use next month march maybe like a coconut i'm sure i've got a coconut one but these are fab i think they're six or eight pound if i remember correctly i'll try and link them down below but yeah great just to pop in your bag and like even if you've got makeup on you could use this as like a setting spray i don't know if it's like got that formula but at least it would like still keep a bit vibrant oh my god i got really itchy nose now i sprayed that oh do apologize for that. and then what else have we got what can we go right we'll go on like the natural vibes so i think did i show this last month i can't remember if i did i'm so sorry that i've repeated myself but this has been one of my go-to's it is the one pound aloe vera 
lip balm from Primark. I cannot wait till that shop reopens, let me tell you that. But on those days when I'm going for a natural look, but I just want to pop a colour, I've actually got it on now. I don't know if you can see. We'll do our little pout for you guys. Is I have been using the Clinique Pepstar Pout Perfecting Balm. So it's just this gorgeous little balm. I got this in, was it a Christmas present or a birthday present? Like a little set from Boots. And it's just a gorgeous little balm, but you've got like your pinky tin, and it's perfect, as I say. Let's get this demo in action. Just for adding a little bit of subtle colour, just for that little pop, you know? So yes. Oh my god, my nose. Oh! Oh! That is very itchy since I've done that mix. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Sorry about that, my lovelies. So yes, my own natural when I'm not bothered about colour or a tint is Primark, which I'm getting quite to the end of. So please, Primark, come on, I'm waiting for you. And then when I want that little bit of a tint, Clinique Pepstar is what I have been going for. Right, what else is on my list? Do, 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 do. I'm not going to show it to you again because you saw it last month, but my big laptop bag, oh my God, absolute essential. I will leave it in the links down below. If you can get your hands on that and you're one that takes your laptop or your iPad or just like a little bit of tech in general or like pads because they can fit the size of a notepad in, I highly, highly recommend it. I'll also link down there up above, you know the drill, last month's favourites if you want to see it but as I say I will link it down below. It's about 10 or £12, best thing ever. I can't, I can't rave about it enough. And then on the topic of bargains, you will have seen this in, was it my Valentine's Day haul? Yes, I've done a Valentine's Day haul, mainly for myself because we weren't gonna have a great Valentine's in lockdown, was we? But it is this rose light that I picked up in Poundland, one pound. Can you believe it for this? This is so cute. As you all know, I mean, as you can tell, Beauty and the Beast galore, that is my favorite Disney film. And I have quite a few roses and like uh, light up roses around my room. I've got me rose light up lamp there and I've got a couple in my cabinet. And when I saw this for a quid, I thought, you know what, it can just go as a decoration. But oh my God, I've been loving it. Absolutely loving it. It sits up on my shelf so that when I'm in bed and I'm all cosy with me lights and me Netflix, I put me candles, I put me light on and I'm very zen. And for one pound, I mean bargain absolute bargain i cannot say anything more about it and then we're gonna skip on to the next category because <laughs> there's only one thing and i think looking back on last month i was a little bit over optimistic so as you all know i've got back into reading find it helps me calm de-stress like eases me out and i said last month i want to try and read a book a month which is probably doable but for me it's not i try and read a chapter every morning if i can so if i did every morning that's 30 chapters most books do they have that amount of chapters i'm not too sure but i ain't gonna lie there are some mornings when i don't because i may have a video to edit or to do a thumbnail in that morning and that hour in the morning before i start getting ready for work is taken away from reading and into something else so the book of the month still my lovelies is the haunting of alma fielding i am though right at the end as you can see I only have that little amount left. So I think I've only got two or three chapters left. What are we on? We're on chapter 20. And oh my god, we're on the last one. No. Because the one after that's the epilogue. Right, that makes it even more pronto that I need to get a new book. I know I say that when I've got books here, but Harry Potter's I really need to try and get back into it. As you all know, I said this I think on Vlogmas. I get to a certain point of a certain book and then I just drop off. So I've probably reread Philosopher's Stones about three or four times. I have got my Narnias out because I really was in the mood, I think I said it last month, for something like mystical and all of that jazz. And then I do have some books down there that I haven't read that are more like the classics, um, Anne of Green Gables and Little Women and all that jazz. But as you all know, my taste has kind of changed over the years. There we have Poltergeist. And actually, my little book. Oh my God, I can't pull it. Whew. 
my little book cupboard is just down here. So I shall show you the few latest ones. You would have remembered Pottery Cottage Murders. That was what I was reading over Christmas. Like, such a lovely festive book. That was about a murder or series of murders that happened in, I think it was the Derbyshire area. Very, very sad story, but that is unfortunately the world we live in that stuff like that can happen and then this was this was the book to get me back into reading when did i start this october november it was around like autumnal autumnal autumn and winter time but it was hidden valley road oh my god highly recommend i was obsessed with this like i have been obsessed with all three books but I would say because this was like the first proper book I'd read in a while, I was hooked. I'm, I'm not going to give too much of the gist away, but it's about family. There's, how many was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine boys, one girl. No, ten boys, two girls, if I remember correctly. There was a lot of children. And something runs through the family. It's go on google and you can read like the first few chapters i think for free if you like that type of book please i highly 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 recommend i'm getting very passionate and i can feel my voice raising now as we're speaking about this so i need to calm myself a little but yes they are fab and as i say i have got quite a lot of books in here but you know when i just want something new i watched did i say last month I think I did the after and after we collided that's a book series I want to pick them up I want to pick up Twilight in the books I want to pick up Game of Thrones in the books and I want to pick up 365 days that comes out in March if you have not seen the film go and watch it on Netflix that's all I'm saying so yes I think I want to try and come away from the murder paranormal crime just for a bit i just want a little bit of a break and i want to kind of have something a bit more light-hearted or lovey-dovey or fantasy type you know so yes i do apologize that i couldn't stick to me bargain of a book a month but i think i was being very optimistic in that uh, circumstance and we shall move swiftly on from that my lovelies <laughs> right homewares is next and you are probably sick of me banging on about this but I'm running out of candles there's not much more i can say i am running out looking at my selection you'd say no you're not i've got a few how many have i got six big ones left and i've probably got about eight medium bits and bobs like odd sizes but as for like votives and tea lights i'm running on the bare minimum my only places at the moment are the bargain shops home bargains b m the range where i can pick anything up cheap and cheerful I'm not about paying 120 for a votive at Tesco when I know I can get 30 for 20 quid down Ashford. But I ain't going to know that until I'm back at Ashford. And I pray to God that they keep their good bargain prices. Because if not, when I go down there, I'm going to be very disappointed. But hey ho, I cannot wait to get to the shops. I've got a long weekend off work. We're going to hit the shops. And I might even do a little vlog for that. Like our first post-lockdown shopping trip. Let me know if you'd want to see that but hey ho i'm rambling so my shops are the bargain shops tea lights love a good tea like me and i have been loving i'm not going to even exaggerate to you i think i've bought about six or seven of these packs through this month absolutely love them 89 or 99p definitely under a quid the wickford and co and they are the sweet berries and blossom honey fab cannot say anything more cheap and cheerful and yeah that is just been my go-to at the moment that or i've been pairing it with i've still got a few vanilla ikea ones left cannot wait for ikea to open up because they do fab tea lights i just need to stock up i hate having these spaces and then being empty i've got all these holders but nothing to go in them moving swiftly on this i've picked up what, in my last two or three B&M hauls? Oh, it's the Guava and Watermelon Scented Candle. This is about 120 to 150 I believe. I don't actually know. Oh, it's by Copenhagen Candles, if you want to Google or check it out. But, yes, they are so simple. I have gone through, well, what have I got? Three? I've gone through two. This is my last one. It's nothing fancy, the bottle. 
bottle jar you know what i mean it's just the clear jar with your candle but my god does this smell insane and i cannot wait well i i do want to wait because i don't want to burn it all because this is going to be a fab summer scent and the whole point of it was to burn in the summer yes i am that person who burns candles in the summer i just love the warmth um i love the scent and i just love the vibe with it i love a good candle in the background and for that i have been looking for this i'm gonna flick it around a bit because it's one of those things you just have to flick around i've been looking for this for ages i knew i had one could not for the life of me find it i looked in all my candle drawers i looked in my diffuser drawer i looked everywhere do you want to know where it was in my electricals chest what was it doing in my electricals chest i do not know needs a little bit of a clean because it's got a little bit of wax on the bottom but hey ho we'll ship and shake with that it is a wick trimmer my lovelies pick this up at ashford i think it was about 4.99 as you can see yankee candle there and it is simply a wick trimmer i never knew how to use these when i first got them i was a bit like cack handed but yes i need to do it because i've got one burning in the background now and the wick's gone a little bit awire so so happy that i found this and now i can just go and chop all my wicks about is a bit awkward i'm not gonna lie like me hands your fingers do work going in it for a while but yeah i'm fascinated by the simplest of things clearly <laughs> but yes that is i just can't wait to get down there what have we got that's a whole nother category but for now that is our homeware and i think our favorite one's coming up next <laughs> so what do i need the drinks for what do i need the snacks for what do I need the lights for and what do I need the candles on? That, my lovely, is for those nights when we're binging Netflix and we're not doing anything in the world. So now, this month, I've actually binged quite a lot of Netflix, I'm not going to lie. It's been quite addictive. Um, yeah, I've binged quite a few series in quite short a little time. Did that make sense? Who knows? But last month it was more films. This month, I've definitely gone into series. I've started to go through my watch list and think, right, yes, I want to do that. I want to do that. Before I start with the Netflix, though, I think I'm going to start that Discovery Plus. I keep getting it popping up all the time on my Instagram. And from what I gather, it's all about true crime and, like, murder mysteries and paranormal and all that jazz. So I think I might try that. I think it's, is it a five or a month? But at the minute, they've got, like, your first month for a quid or something. So I might try that. I have been looking on Amazon Prime. Brandon's got that, so I just sneakily slide into his can and make my own little can. <laughs> and I found quite a few good things on that. It's got Buffy. Oh my God, I loved Buffy growing up. So that could be like a little throwback. We've got Hey You. I'm not going to lie, I haven't really watched Hey You for ages, but it's a fiver a month. And I think for those times when I want to binge my Kardashians, I can just go on that. And then what was the other one I was looking at? Oh, MTV Play. I think that was $3.99 a month. I might I might look into that because I do love a bit of reality television, but not like this new stuff. I'm more the old school Geordie Shaw and bits and bobs like that. So who knows? But for the moment, I have been loving, and I mean loving, Netflix. So looking at my list. Let's start with a few light-hearted films then, shall we? P.S. to all the boys, forever and always. Always and forever? The third one, you know what I mean. Absolutely love that. Um, I watched that, when did it come out? Near Valentine's. I think I watched it the weekend of Valentine's Day. Absolutely loved it. I don't think it was as good as the previous two, but I think the previous two had a bit more drama. Like this one, they're growing up. Oh, thank you, Tesco. But my cupboards do not need to be stocked up anymore. If you've seen the vlog of food... You will know what i mean anyway i'm digressing um yeah i don't think it was as good as the previous two but it was still a very nice light-hearted good chick flick funny film so i love that stop or my mom will shoot i said this before and i'll say it again that is one movie that is up there in my top five i'd say for comedies it is just a go-to if that's something that me and mum are thinking on night. what do we want to watch we want a good laugh da, da, da. get the old dvd out and it comes out but i ain't got to get a dvd out now because it's on netflix 
even better if you haven't seen it sylvester stallone and he's still gray funny 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 please tell me if you've seen it because i don't i hope i'm not the only one who knows but i absolutely love it right series this is where we get a little bit nitty gritty stranger things i binged all three seasons in five days i think it was five or six days i'm not gonna lie everyone was telling me to watch it and i didn't think much of it i just thought oh it's kids i watched the first few episodes and i thought oh, it's a bit cheesy da -da -da -da. by the end of it it ended on such a cliffhanger if you've seen it you'll know what i mean and i was just like what now i need to wait for the new ones no i'm not happy i want to know what goes on now so yes i to say i got into it towards the end was a bit of an understatement like mum kept coming in because i was shouting at the screen at this thing like just shouting and mum was like what are you doing i was like shh 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 because the thing with me once i start watching a series if i do like it i will not watch anything else until that series is over so maybe i'm odd in a way but like if i have that i can't then like watch a couple of episodes of friends one night like if i start a series that's it that's all i'm watching until that series is ended so yes i did get very invested in stranger things it was a little bit cheesy for my liking but you know what i love the story i love the acting and it was just like a fun but it had a twist if you've seen it i don't quite know how to describe it it is stranger things but yeah i highly highly recommend that one on a different turn it was only four episodes the vanishing at cecile hotel if you've seen that let me know down below if you're like me and you love your true crime and, and all that gritty business you need to watch that now i had been told of this story from my girl at work she said it to me a while back and then when i said to her about this series she said that's the girl and i was like oh there all sunk in right i wouldn't say it was riveting it definitely was interesting but i do think it got dragged out i think it could have been done and dusted in like two episodes i don't think it needed to be dragged out for the four episodes um it is worth a watch if you like that but i my personal opinion was that i think it dragged a little and i think on the last episode i fell asleep for half of it and apparently i didn't miss much because i asked for a recap and yeah i didn't miss much so it is worth a little watch the one that I think is good for a four part was the evil genius, the bank heist. The one you'll see the man, he had the bomb to his neck. And that was really confusing because it was warped, but it was a good watch. So yes, that was like my little murder crime one for this month. As I say, that's why I think I want to do that Discovery Plus because there seems to be a lot more bits and bobs like murder, crime paranormal stuff that can't be explained so i think i'm definitely going to look into that but the series that stole my heart this month was 13 reasons why i binged all four seasons i think there's about 10 to 12 episodes per series an hour each pretty much i binged it in eight or nine days i was hooked from the first episode, mum would come into me, especially on a weekend. Shan, it's 2am and I'm like, one more episode, one more episode. I was hooked. And my girl at work, she said she'd watched the first series. She got halfway through the second and she said it kind of just got a bit repetitive. And I was like, oh, no. I've been saying to her all this time, oh my god, please rewatch, please rewatch. And now she's on the last season so we can start to like have chats about it. But I was hooked it was i don't think it's ever been done something like that and the issues that they tackled were the storyline and everything was brilliant about it the acting oh my god towards the end if you've seen it you'll know what i mean something happens in the last episode but starts the second to last i was sobbing like i'm talking hysterical sobbing to the point when it happened i was like hyperventilating i called brandon and brandon was just like oh my god what's the matter he didn't know a thing and i was like oh and told him and he was like get a grip i was like oh my god because i think it's because like you do binge it you get so 
invested like you feel like you know those people and well i just get invested in stuff anyway but i felt like i knew those people and when something happened and it happened i was like <laughs> i was distraught i was absolutely distraught and yeah if it is very triggering um i do think you have to be in the right mentality like it does say before every episode like if you get uncomfortable watching with this turn it off or watch it with someone and talk about it i think the whole series was based on around tackling these big topics but they wanted people to start having conversations and talking about it so yes that was like oh my god i was distraught i probably would re-watch that again like that is up there with for me the crown and haunting of hillhurst haunting of hillhurst i've watched two three times now don't really watch that till like more october because it's like halloweeny i've only watched the crown once but i cannot wait for the new series like netflix come on you girl can't wait you ended that on a cliffhanger that would be the only thing i'd say like when these ones end and then it's like another year or two for the next series i'm like what and Peaky Blinders, of course. I love a good bit of Peaky Blinders. But yes, that has been my Netflix. Oh, no. What did I start last night? The Last Kingdom. Lost Kingdom? Last Kingdom. Kind of like Game of Thrones, I was told. Like Viking-esque. I watched three episodes last night. I need to watch the last episode again because I fell asleep. <laughs> so that wasn't great. But I did like the first episode. Second... I kind of understood because it's starting to obviously develop more. But yes, so that is going to be my new series. So I'll give you an update of that in March. See how I got on with that. See if the old noggin can understand it. But yes, that has been my Netflix uh, must-go-tos this month. As I say, I have had quite a few unproductive weekends this week. And I'm not mad about it. Sometimes you just need those times when you sit in bed with your snacks and you don't do anything and who says you can't have that every weekend? No one. Because I've probably had at least... Mm, at least half my weekends have been like that. Let's be perfectly honest. But we're going to wrap it up with one of our favourite categories. Well, it's my favourite. Skincare slash makeup. I've only got one makeup product in here this month. And it is another setting spray. It is MAC Fix Plus, but it's the pink light one absolutely love this it just gives like a little bit of a shimmer a little bit of a gloss and smells fabulous fabulous that is my simple request oh my god oh my god i need to i've got disney plus as well i really want to watch wandavision if you've watched that let me know down below is it worth the watch i don't know see i'm just so digressing i'm already planning my next however many unproductive weekends on what i want to watch hey ho so another thing that i've been loving as i say i'm basically natural all the time oh natural no makeup on the face but for those days when sometimes i think oh shan you're looking a bit too much like casper i found this this is tinted day cream 24 moisture from nivea and i've got the light skin tone because obviously i'm pale as a ghost spf 15 oh my god absolutely love this right not gonna lie though for light if I show you, that is still quite dark for light. So what I do is I mix this with my Nivea normal moisturiser. Oh my god, I'm going to sneeze. Hey, <laughs> I, I, I do apologise. This is still a tad too dark for me because I am basically Casper. So I mix this in with my Nivea normal moisturiser just to lighten it up and then put it over. And it just gives you a touch just a touch of a little bit of a sunkissed look, which I think we all need right now. Skincare. This has been a repurchase of mine for many, many years. It is the Body Shop Tea Tree Targeted Gel. This, if you've got spots coming up, lifesaver. It's on like a little pipette. And you literally, let's not look at my face. It's on a little pipette and then you've got your gel and you just pop it on good to go and then do it as soon as you can feel a spot coming or if it's got to that stage and you didn't realize and then it's starting to like get hard put it over and it helps it so much that has been an absolute lifesaver i think it is is it eight or nine pound i'll leave it down below if i can if it's still on there i mean 
tea tree for the body shop is like i think their go-to range there's so many products i've also got the facial wash and the foam cleanser love it and i love the smell love the smell so you would have seen in last month i was saying about elemis i treated myself to some bits because they had an offer on because your girl can't be paying the full price on that her bank account would just not let it so picked up a mini of i think it's the original but to me it's like citrus oh my god absolutely love this you need the tiniest bit and i mean tiniest bit when I first started with the rose, I was like scooping it and then like, oh my God, I realized I didn't need it. So I'm very mindful that you do not need a lot of this. As I say, the rose one I will use, but I think when that goes empty and I need to repurchase, I'll be repurchasing this one. It's just a lot more like citrus and fresher. And as I say, I don't mind a bit of rose, but that can be a bit overpowering, like last thing at night, whew, hitting yourself in the face with rose. And my last favourite, which is well and truly, she's almost gone and I need to get a stock up. And I think they do a few new scents in this as well. I think I've seen a purple one. So you might, you might be seeing a new little bit of a skincare on my shelf because I might just treat myself. It is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Mask. This was something that I think I mentioned it in one of my previous videos. Brandon's sister, she loves her skincare, loves her makeup. And she'll buy bits and bobs. And if it doesn't sit well with her or she doesn't like it, she'll bulk it up. And then whenever she would be at her mum's, which obviously is not at the moment because of COVID. But she would just bring like a little bag and be like, help yourself. And then whatever we didn't use would go to charity or in the bin or anywhere else. And this was one of those things. And I mean, you can tell... You can see the bottom. I've got minimal bit left of that. But yes, this was a great find. It did come with a little um, brush. But I think that's in my face mask brush collection. But it was just like a little ditty one that you can do it. And I love this. Just been putting this on with a little one of my normal brushes. Because trying to get to my face mask brush drawer at the moment is quite hard. But yes, this is an absolute classic and probably one of the best things that i got out of her little pot as i say she is extremely generous as you all know what was it last month another favorite that i got from her little collection was the charlotte tilbury matte powder oh my god absolute staple so yes on her ones where they don't sit well with her or she doesn't like them they are kindly gifted would you say yeah, because she just brings around and says to me and her mum there, I'll see if there's any bits and bobs you like, and then whatever's not, we'll just go elsewhere. So yeah, she's very generous and cannot wait to see her. It's been an absolute longest time ever, and hopefully we'll all be back together soon. But my lovelies, guess what? I'm rambling as always, but that is all of our favourites done. So my lovelies, another month has gone like that. Where is this time going? Please tell me because for the months that we're not able to do anything, it seems like they are just flying by and I don't know where. So I'm hoping when we can actually do something, the months go very slow and we can enjoy and savour every single moment of those months to come. Got really itchy nose and I don't know why, I do apologise. Been scratching my nose all through this video. But yes, we are done. Me and my little Whitley Neil, which, oh my God... If you love a gin, I highly recommend this. And yeah, I'm just surrounded. I think I'm going to try and finish off my book tonight. I didn't realise I only had one chapter left. I thought I had a few more. I'm going to finish off my book tonight. With me flaming hot what's it? And then look to order some new books. And yeah, I'm going to do a nice bit of skincare. I'm probably going to use the last of me Australian pink clay up. As much as that pains me to say. I hate using stuff up until I've got the replacement for it. Is anyone else like that or is that just me? But I think I need to I need to just use her up and put her to bed and then I can buy the new one. And as I say, I'm sure there's like a purple one. So I'll have a look for that as well. But yes. So what was your favourite bit this month? Is there anything of this that you've been using or you recognise? Any recommendations? You know, I'm still... I'm still open to all my Netflix recommendations. All of the ones that you send me over on Insta or on the videos, I have a list on my other pad. They're all there. So once I've finally got through my list, I can start to watch your list. But yes, 
anything you want to know where it is as i say i'll try and link as much as i can down in the description box below but yes i can't believe another month has been and gone and look i'm still no lighter if anything i'm heavier but what do i expect if i'm eating flaming hot what sits and like love hearts and i'm snacking on gins and bailey's hot chocolate oh well we might have one month where i don't include snacks <laughs> let's be serious that's never gonna happen is it but yes me and me gin are gonna bid you farewell and if you did enjoy the video you know what to do guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below as i say leave me a comment of any bits and bobs that you want to know as i say i will try and leave it all down below as much as i can but you know even if you just want a little chat you know i love a chit chat but yes i'm gonna stop rambling let you get on with your day and before we know it it's gonna be next month and it's gonna be another monthly favorites but until then let's try and enjoy the time that we have and all the hauls that are gonna be in between you know Shh, don't tell mama g or the bank balance <laughs> take care guys and i'll see you in the next one bye